blah, 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 whatever. I didn't have a lot to say about this week. If we just want to get right oh, into yeah, it. Let's hop right into it. Right? We're, we're yeah. reading. We're, ready, we're, we're reading, reading for it. If you haven't, if you don't know what is if happening. you're new. Because Sparking Zero hype was, was so powerful. Mm-hmm. Uh, we decided to skip last week to uh, go ahead and double down on two weeks worth of stuff for uh, this week. And we are doing just a weekly catch up of what we're reading. If you haven't, yep. and you would like to, you have exactly however long it takes to get to your favorite thing to get caught up. <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking we can... Uh, giving you these precise measurements. We've got Kagura Bachi up to chapter 53. We've yeah. got Ichi the Witch up to chapter, was it six? Six, six. yes. We've got... And uh, then, is it even... Is it not on Is the, Hakutaku not even on the Hakutaki. front page? Oh my god. Oh, we've been, I see Shinobi <laughs> undercover over there Uh-oh. going Uh-oh. back the wrong horse. Uh oh. Back the wrong horse. Up to Look chapter four. Well, Sakamoto Days is in the second page uh, as well. So you know what? That that everybody's saying, Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Kieran, you'd love it. Yeah, Apparently not even on the first it's page. no me and Roboco or Kill Blue. And me and Roboco isn't even me and Roboco. Me and Roboco yeah. isn't Astro Royale. It's no Astro Royale. <laughs> and what yeah, is we it? We gotta make way for Hema Ten. And I feel like I'm saying all these titles like you which know, begrudgingly, as if I know anything about any of them. Someone in the chat might like these. <laughs> yeah, I've actually been reading like a lot more different types of manga. I, yeah. My vacation helped with that a little bit. Good. I'm glad. So I, I started reading a, a decent bit. I read Hema Ten, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's it's fine. What's the, what give me a quick summary. What's it about? Like it's one sentence, try too hard. It's like my dress of darling, except not interesting. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Say less. Understood. All right. And what else you read? What else, what else have I been reading? I'm going to pull up my list. You read Gacha, right? I have not read Gacha. <laughs> I should have read Gacha Akita. You keep yelling at me about that. Um, I caught up on Undead Book Unluck, book. which okay. we're putting in, a, in an interesting situation here because it seems like it's going to be ending soon. They are rushing to the end, it feels like. So... Pulling a JJK, I see. Yeah. Well, I feel like it might have just been like soft canceled, honestly, because their ratings on it are always super low. And they, so they're bad, probably just like, it end fun. this at X amount of chapters. And now they're just like, okay, I guess we got to end it. That, that's what it feels like to me. That's, that's just a gut feeling. But we, I've been wanting us to kind of talk about it. So we, we might at some point. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out as we go. We can come right. We can swing right in for the finale, like we did for Jujutsu. Yeah, we'll oh, start yeah. right up, and then it'll be like five chapters left to get your big theories in, and none of them will be true, and everything sucks. Hey, I was kind of right, sort of. They won. <laughs> Ed was right. It sucks. The good guys came in, came out on top, as predicted. No, it's all a yeah. dream. That one Tumblr guy told me, and I believe them oh, still yeah. to this day because the scar is incongruent on Fushigoro's face. It changes from panel to panel like a dream would. <laughs> Yuji's bad memory at play. People were saying that Nui's Exorcist is all right. Somebody was like a couple I, people. Yeah, I feel like this is all right. That one. I don't know if we like believe them, but it has been. Oh said. yeah, I also read the first thirty chapters of Akane Banashi, and that's actually been been really good. I've been enjoying that quite a lot. Oh yeah. What is that about? Do you know Rakugo? The performance where you, someone sits on a cushion in front of a crowd and tells a funny little story, and it's kind of like the art of storytelling, basically. Okay, and it's extremely it, challenging to translate. In a way, I don't know. There's they they actually talk about that how it's like very like old stories like Edo period, and there's this debate about whether or not to translate them for the modern audience because it's just like, but the the human element gets across is what they say, and I think that applies very well to the manga. Like it's the way it's drawn to depict the stories is very fun, and it's just a good like kind of drama about being a per- performer, which. I think we can probably relate to as, as a, as a group. No, impossible. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I just talk into a microphone. I don't really do anything. <laughs> I barely do that. <laughs> but no, that was de- that was definitely really fun. That's um, cool. That does seem cool. Yeah, I, so maybe I we can check out that at some point. Fun for a There's a there's a bunch of stuff here that I I was like wondering if we want to. Should anything die, we can expand our repertoire of things that are currently going. <laughs> And, you know, we don't have to stay locked into Shonen Jump stuff. But there's a couple other things that are still pretty not a billion chapters that we could get caught up on <laughs> relatively Witch quick hat. if we wanted to. Yeah, Witch Hat getting its yeah, anime Witch is hat. really cool. Like, I don't know. This thing is at chapter 16. This is at chapter 25. I don't know anything about them. Maybe they're cool. You said this was yeah. poo-poo, so I don't know. You could well, anyone fun. who likes it is wrong, so we can just move past it. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lot them. of fun with Astro Baby so far. Ooh. Tell me about Astro Baby. Baby, I don't really know how to describe what's going on. I do on. like They're this like baby's organisms. cranky face. They're like 
space alien organisms and this baby is like the ultimate one but he accidentally took over a baby and it's the oh. baby that the kid what like the mother was somebody that the kid deeply cared for so that, he's taking care of the baby thinking that it's a baby that sounds like what was that bielsa something it's not like that at all really oh, okay i love beelzebub that's what it was i love beelzebub I have a tattoo of Beelzebub, or like the little symbol on my hand. <laughs> I want to read goddamn Ruri Dragon because that's coming back, and I didn't get caught. I up caught on up it. on that too. That was pretty nice. Yeah, Ruri Dragon's super cute. I love it. That art gives me life. I want to draw like this. That is my it's very goal. good. I like. I'm not into slice of life stuff, but but after reading, it, I read Ruri Dragon and then I read Hema Ten. And I was like, oh, Ruri Dragon's a great slice of life compared to... <laughs> yeah, no, there are I, good I, ones I where you can the see side on by that, side, but... like, here's this one that did it well. <laughs> no, people like Ruri, Ruri Dragon's pretty popular. Like, it's yeah. it's cool. I like it. But that's nothing that I read for this week, gosh darn Yeah, it. what are we reading this yeah. week? What's what's everyone read this I'm, week? I'm quite reedy. Uh, well, do we want to start with the big first? ones? I think we we or all we love Kagurabachi, so I think we can... We can we can either start with that or end with that. What would you want to do? Oh, yeah, with a strong yeah, closer. Let's... Well, everybody said words. Yes? Are we still cutting off one of these this week? No. I don't think so. No, we don't have I think to. But, but I think the, you know, we always give our, our, our cute little readies or nots at the end of it. Uh, I do think yeah. if, if we just keep giving things a not X amount of times, we can just go, man, fuck this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, th okay. I think if we all like agree that none of us are really getting anything out of it, we can just cut it. Yeah. I'd say so. Tipping your hand, well, Tyler. I like it. With, mm -hmm. uh, what, do you want to start with Hakutaku? I'm down to Yeah, we can. Two. I think Hakutaku. we can. Let's do that. Oh, sure, let's do it. Let's okay. Damn, if, if this was just a Hakutaku podcast, it could just be Hakutaku. Oh, that's perfect. No, it could be Hakutaku to Hakutaku. Then we could have it perfectly encapsulated in time. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you understand it? It's the You'll know the exact week that we started the podcast. <laughs> hey, she's gonna be uh, getting some celebrity on her show. Maybe I think exactly. she's got she that bit's got legs. Yeah, I'm we sure don't have a, a celebrity on this. We just have us. All right. Yeah. We get recognized yeah. at the checkout line at Kroger, and then that's that's all we get. <laughs> <laughs> we just get panic attacks anytime someone knows who we are. Exactly. You know, have just her the right on here to talk about her favorite manga. So because this is a weekly one, uh, we, we talked about this. I, I We probably should have talked about this beforehand. This is, do you want to go nitty gritty, bitty bitty with this? Where it's like flip through every panel, blah, blah, blah. Talk about the whole chapter as it is because it's the weekly one. Or do you want to just talk about the whole thing as a whole? What are, what since are you we, feeling? Since we were thinking of trying to make this a bit of a shorter one, why don't we try try out just the summary? Just kind of summarize them. Kind of that. Not, not going through each individual page and see how that goes. Okay, you if you hate it, then tell us and go, no, you need yeah. to go through every page. Oh, I'm going to see every to. page of this manga. Or I'm going to die. Okay, and then just tell me. And then if, if that's the case, then you got to tell me, okay, well, how much are you going <laughs> to die? Because you might just have to live with it. I don't know about this manga. you got to listen to me right now. All right, so, so we've got Hakutaku. We've yes. We've got the... Oh, do you want to summarize it? You're you're the one who's got the sure, Yeah, I, Yeah, game sure. Devs. I mean, Johnny Game Dev over here. Uh, yeah. That's my whole life forever now. I'll never surpass it. The impetus for this one is that they we saw the la their motivations last chapter. Noto wants mm -hmm. to be a, present a big thing at a big conference, get a bunch of people excited. She just wants to be kind of the center of attention and also make people wants to feel be the E3 rock star. Well, yeah, exactly. Wants to wants that shot of fame and knowing that she made a thing that people really like and blah 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 whatever. And then we have a rando from some electronics store showing up at her house says, hey, we need, uh, I had this fun little promotional idea because I made a bet with other people that r run these other stores that whoever gets the most people there gets some thing that they're bet. I don't know if we figure a out the prize. stakes of their, their bet or whatever it was. And then he's like, no, I, I have this, si there's a single mother and her kid really what really might like video games there you go <laughs> but yep. that, that's it <laughs> it's good motivation picking up chicks sure and he's got this ploy of I, I'm, I'm looking to get with this single mom and if i can get her kid excited to come to my store we can talk so i just need something i need something to bring in the kids yeah so bring in you know bring them in however you can do it uh and then if you're getting recommended from noto then you must be at least pretty good please oh help me Nervous pro tag coon. 
And then they have this idea that for this little game they're going to do, they're going to have a game where you have to find a dog and take a picture of it. And when this first happened, I was thinking this was going to be like a, a Pokemon a, Snap. Yeah, like Pokemon Snap. Like you're going to you're going to make holes. You're going you're gonna to make like little sprites of little dogs and all this shit. And they're like, no. And like immediately she understands that, oh, we need image recognition, AI and like prizes to give out and stuff. Cashes in all these favors from these people who she met because she is in this uh, an elite pro gamer in this one FPS game, which is cute and also very real. Like, the amount of people that do crazy shit that I've met through like my Gundam circle because is you've insane. Games with them, yeah. Um, yeah. And they're like, okay, cool. Hey, what you need? This we found this little this guy who works with AI from Tokyo University, and then this girl who is a manager from Glico, actual ass Glico, ass Glico. And it's like, hey, what's, so Glico? what's up? Uh, Glico has the, there's the, have you seen the Glico man running in Osaka? There's a very famous advertisement that they have, but they do, they do like a bunch of shit. They're just like kind of a catch all brand that they, they kind of have their hands in everything. Glico from, vision, dude. Yeah, Glico vision. Uh, everything from like clothing to little candies and just kind of do whatever. Oh, okay. A general like goodies catch all brand. Gotcha. But they're mostly known for the Glico man. Like, it's the most iconic advertising they've had is the little Glico man. Big um, export. Glico in Osaka. Man. But um, point being that she's got a really big pull with just, like, whatever the fuck you would need for basically anything. She can get whatever. She's like, could you get, like, this is why he's, like, a range of prizes from uh, big party bags down to, like, individually wrapped candy. She's like, oh, yeah, we could do that. Like, just whatever. And okay, then, so like for the American part in me, I'm going to convert it. So she like works at a Walmart. Okay. Basically, yeah. You can, you can think of it kind of like that. Maybe a Walmart. Close but they, they, they put a thing together that's like, oh, we can start using, this is like, Tyler was just saying at the beginning of this that he wished they went more into the, the game dev thing in parts, right? Am I, am I saying what you were yeah. saying, right? Which they do a little bit here. Yeah. Here is about where they do it, where they mention like, oh, Here's like a stat screen asset. We can just kind of grab this from wherever. We can find pre-made code for just about anything. And then that will, we can just use that, which is, a, that's a very real thing. Everybody does this now. Everybody uses pre-made shit to put stuff together. And then they throw all this together to make a game where they actually, fun, a fun little bit here. This is real ass code. This is some real shit on the side. I was like, oh, I, I recognize <laughs> this is functional. This is, this is some real shit. Um, what language are they in? Oh, well, actually, yeah. On that page, even there down at the bottom right, there's like a programming yeah, advisor. Have, I like that. Like, they yeah, have that, a little that's... programming advisor. This is, I recognize some of this shit from C Sharp, which is like what Unity does. But a lot of it has a bunch of different, like a bunch of different things that it could be. This might also be some iteration of Java. Like, I wish I knew more about the languages. I'm not going to lie. So I just is... realized, do you, something yes. I've never even thought about. Do you have to learn English to code? I've wondered that too. Mm. I don't know what they fucking do. <laughs> I wish I had an answer. Oh. I I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, that's interesting. What I mean, I think learning a programming like language is kind of like learning a language. So it might. I mean, either way, you're like, gonna have that... to kind of start from scratch there. Yeah, because all this is in English, right? Like this is yeah. Execute, and they have right here execute ML. That'll be like machine learning integer image ID. Like this is. This is some real shit. Like they're defining a, a variable here. Like it's this is a void variable or, or a function. And then they have it. Okay, the image is with 640 pixels. A debug error. Image resolution must be 640 by 640. You have to have a 640 by 640 image. Gotta be the right size, dummy. Yeah, and then they have this little thing down here, programming advisor and tech lead, which I don't think they adapted this from like Japanese. I I, I want to believe this is what the raw is i don't no, think they yeah they like, uh, shonen jump does not n make edits like that they yeah, i don't think so either edit sound effects for some tonkoban releases but for the digital releases the, of the weekly stuff they simply wouldn't have time so yeah all of this is definitely from the raw and they have this whole little thing here about okay using the engine there's output 20 so these are like i'm assume like i can't tell you exactly what this is doing in every little thing here they're talking about something with pixel bounds of a list they're making some list with like probably looking at parts of the image or something but anyway yeah like that, that's real stuff that's real, there's, there's real shit there which is cool oh, that's cool but they have they have the kids get together and then hey you got this is so real okay group <laughs> download this app 
that's too much work. That's too much work. <laughs> Fucking dude, we're fucked. We're dead. So all the kids download the app and they're like, okay, go take a picture of a dog, blah, blah, blah. They take a picture of the dog. And then they do this whole little thing, like this real thing using image recognition AI, which is a whole different thingy. He gets all excited, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they wow, I can't believe Haku Chaku supports AI. Literally uses AI. Literally. <laughs> uh, I guess it's canceled. Gets a not from me on principle. They mentioned AI and <laughs> every AI instance of it is and bad. Not immediately pointed a gun at and the they were like, and they very and broad then, term for yeah. how a computer thinks <laughs> it and reacts to different stimuli. No, what are you saying? There's forward. nuance to topics that are hot button <laughs> issues, Ben. That's crazy. No. You're right. She, she looks That's straight at the reader and goes, and I would never. How dare you suggest I would use this? I'm a real artist. Uh, when, they, when they were like, hey, download the app, and they were, the kids were like, oh, that's too much work. I thought that was going to be a point that they were going to have to work around where it was like, okay, well, oh, shit. Kids maybe don't if we get make apps. it so you download the app, you'll get a piece of candy or whatever. Ooh, you know? yeah. That would, that would have been a fun little twist. If they had more pages, they probably would have done something like that. It, yeah, you only hmm. have like 20 but yeah, I think the code there was generating like this little list, by the way. They're talking about like making like smaller images, like little things in a list and stuff. This is probably what they were doing was like coding a mm -hmm. thing to generate this little list here and show this stuff off. And uh, anyways, they have a kid go up like they take a cute picture. It's like, wow, it's got 90 points and it scores you with all this little stuff. I love the little comment there. Start an Insta right this second. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's, that's great. I yeah, didn't notice it, that before. It's cute. It's fun. They have, but that's a, uh, that's chapter three, really. That's about all. Tyler, did you want to mention the, you mentioned something about it before we started about the AI thing. Did you want to say something about that? I mean, we already went over it. I Just the mention of yeah. AI and how it yeah. might be yeah. interpreted as a, as an endorsement of that. Yes. And they were like, that's right. Why code anything? Why do anything when I can just type it a prop, the chat GPT? No, <laughs> the fucking, the thing with, I'm happy they did this too. Like it's, it's, this is a good example of like, AI is a tool. It is, this is, it's such a ubiquitous term for very different things. And everybody yeah. is just trained on just like a, a trigger finger, which probably rightfully so to react more strongly than negatively or like blase about it with like, oh God, they said the, the words AI, that means it's this. You don't know what it is. And I think that's the yeah. problem with it is it's such a broad term that is very ill-defined probably on purpose so they can do a bunch of the shit that everybody hates image recognition yeah, so the bad people can keep getting away with it image recognition has been around forever that is part of what captcha software is doing back when like captcha software was established that's what people were doing when it's like a picture of a fire hydrant we as a society we're training vi image recognition we were AI. telling them how like this is a picture of a bicycle this is a picture of a fire extinguisher all of that was for that that is what it was and you, you can use a lot of that for many applications and it's not fucking so artists can be out of a job it is for many this is how the tesla drives itself you know it's a shitty example that is but like that's how you use stuff like that you can have you can take out your phone and look at you know, any text with Google Translate and get it translated because of image recognition AI stuff. Yeah, and like so this is... Ton, like, all the video game stuff, like NPCs, bad guys, whatever, it's, <laughs> it's meant to respond to, you know, what's happening in the environment or with the player, what the player's doing. All of that's a kind of AI. It's, it's, yes. it's an intelligence that is focused on responding to stimuli. Yeah. And so... Which is different than generative AI, which is the thing everybody hates. That is a different yeah. thing. Image generation AI is a very specific issue. Yeah. And all AI is not necessarily a problem. Yeah. So don't don't get twisted, gamers. Don't, don't throw get it, it mixed all out. Because there's, there's a lot of, you know, we wouldn't have had Shenmue if somebody was like, hold up there. This guy's acting a little too real. Like, we, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> That's the point. We, you want that. That is the fun. You want to have the pedestrians doing realistic things. But uh, anyway, that is completely unrelated to this shit where you have, <laughs> uh, here is a photo. We're going to send this to a machine learning algorithm. That machine learning algorithm will then spit out a couple different factors based on things. Then it goes, oh, yeah, we can tell this is a dog and not a pigeon. And it will like you can go to <laughs> little things that like a bunch of con booths will have these things set up. Like one of the big Texas furry cons, Texas furry fiesta has a camera set up to image recognition. And so people go up with their little fursuits and it's like, here's what the AI thinks you are. And it'll be like orange <laughs> sofa, <laughs> like, or for whatever. And it'll be like 0. 0.7. It'll tell you like, 
how confident it is and what it thinks this image is. I'm 60% sure you are a bus. Like yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, nope. We use, we use that all the time at the shelter to go like, okay, well, I have no idea what kind of breed dog this is, so I'm just going to pull up Google Lens or whatever. Yes, Google uh, Lens is the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, 40% Corgi, 90% Pomeranian. Wow. 12% dolphin. All right. We can't trust this thing. <laughs> but yeah, this, I thought this was a, you know, a good example of like, hey, here's, it, it was very brazen to go ahead and do that already, <laughs> but it's also very modern because I think if people think people aren't going to use this, they are deluding themselves. Like this technology not oh, yeah. only has existed, it is being used everywhere. And like, this is a very modern look at what that, what that looks like now. And so I, I thought that was cool. I, I liked it. It kind of shows confidence in the uh, in the mangaka that it's like if if someone who doesn't know anything about game dev were to make a manga about game dev, they'd be like starting from scratch. Let's learn how to code. Let's learn how to let's learn how to make all these graphics. Let's learn how to make the move around the screen and uh, every step of the way. Whereas a real game dev would probably outsource a lot of that stuff to pre made assets and what and whatnot. So that is what every that they game have some dev experience does. in developing games. Yeah, yeah, like half half of the code base of a lot of these like because they're, I use it for example this plugin called Playmaker and Playmaker is a high level code arbitration system as in I just hit a block and it goes this is why I don't know all this fucking like nitty gritty code shit because I use Playmaker which is a high level one that just goes pick color I'm not sitting there writing <laughs> object dot game object dot color dot blah, 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 whatever I'm not individually writing yeah. that I'm hitting a button that says get color pick object get the color do thing when people hit button to change the color and people do stuff like that to iterate quickly to make prototypes and games like oh fuck what was it hollow knight uses like 90 percent playmaker and they did not mm. sit there and code every little thing by hand they do a lot of that shit and there's a lot of assets in a lot of these like speed tree i was just talking with grant about in a sparking because sparking uses yeah. speed tree and like you mentioned like oh yeah there's this giant bomb interview of like with the speed tree guys because everybody uses speed tree and speed tree is this plugin to just quickly generate a bunch of fucking trees because nobody is sitting there. randomly generate trees so you don't have to sit there and draw each one or make up what a <laughs> forest looks like when you've got a 60 hour game that takes place primarily in a foresty area like you don't have to just spend all of that man hours just making those trees like we're just gonna make a program yeah. that makes trees and we'll just generate millions of trees that will all be individual and different and just imperceptible to the human eye but you'll be able to pick up that this looks like natural trees because they're not all the same tree copy pasted over and over yes <laughs> and there's a bunch of little tools like that that do a lot of really neat things and it's very like it is telling that immediately they were like let's use assets let's use image gen ai and stuff like that i just was shocked because i didn't think we were going this far this this soon uh but that was cool i thought that was neat yeah. and that's like that that's the big highlight of Chapter three. I don't know if you want to give chapter three its own rating or further discussion or anything. I can go on to four. We can yeah. talk about I that. Some I thoughts it's about Hakutaku in general, so I'll, I'll save it for the end. Uh, chapter four has a, a setup with the game jam. Game jam. So we have oh, this yeah. established that there are three components to make a game. There's the direction, as in, you know, the directors who usually get all the credit. Uh, the programmers <laughs> who actually make everything. And then the graphics who make all those little numbers look pretty. So once you got all that established, you basically have everything to mean you need to make a game. And then you gather people who specialize in those three things and form a team. And they're, they're good at, I'm already forgetting his name, but Protag Man <laughs> is good at uh, the Protag planning boy. part and seems okay at like implementing stuff and like maybe not great at graphics, but uh, you know, whatever. So we need to find some other people. And then on the way to the game jam, they run into this guy who's like, please give me some money for the for the train fare back home. If only I do ABC, I'll be able to get back home. And this guy shows up and he's screaming like, no, hey, you could get like, if you did exactly X, Y, Z, this optimal route. And we're like, oh, here's our programmer. This is the guy who, <laughs> who's got everything figured out. Okay, just immediately I, behind him. I like that you caught that because I was like, this feels like a weird side thing to do in the middle of this game jam thing. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> Like, did not at all like, it was like, a, like i thought this was gonna start a whole new like subplot of like <laughs> being robbed or something oh, and that was gonna get in the way of the game jam grant you're my favorite in case it wasn't clear that he had a programmer's mind though he did say that he also just made a program to calculate the, the yeah the, the cheapest he fare reminds, reminds me so much of our friend phoenix 
Yes, this is Phoenix. <laughs> it's like, hey, I wanted to do this thing. I didn't even look to see if it existed already. I went out and made I, it. I just went ahead and made it. Yeah. Yeah. It's called being forward thinking. It's yeah. Because immediately he says that too, where he's like, oh, then I realized somebody already made an app that I could do this with, but I went ahead and coded it on my own anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this is, if you think this guy's outlandish, this is, we literally know a guy. Right? Yeah. We know, we know this man. This um, is what real coders look like. <laughs> and there's this one girl there who's like, oh, is my brother bothering you? It's like, oh, this girl with this other guy. Okay, sure, whatever. Then they kind of fuck off. It's like, oh, yeah, give me your number. And then we learn that coding guy goes to the same school as Protag Coon. And then they go to the game jam venue. And then they get the iteration on the game jam, which if you don't know what a game jam is, because I this if you're not in a game dev circle, this might be a weird term to you. I, look up the Taco Bell game jam. Yeah, welcome to the Taco Bell Game Jam. There's a uh, time limit period, usually very short. Ludum Dare is the big one and that I think gives people three days. Uh, they, they've changed the time limit a couple times, I think. I'm a fake gamer fan. I've never entered it. Don't listen to me. But <laughs> X amount of hours, usually it's between like two days to like maybe two weeks-ish is longer in. Some of them go for months. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but usually it's not like a year. Usually it is more, more confined. 48 hours or... or uh, 72 is the one I hear the most. And then they have a theme in the jam. So everybody doesn't know what the theme is. You can't like pre-work on most of these. And they'll just tell you, hey, you've got X amount of time to start doing a thing. Get your team ready if you want to. And then right when it starts, we will tell you the theme. So nobody can get a head start. So we all got, you know, it's kind of fair. So then, bam, the theme is deceive. And then on Sunday, you guys got to have a game ready about deceive. So some people 48 already 48 hours for this one. Yeah. 48 hours. And they had some people already had teams. Some people showed up wanting to meet other people, blah, 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 whatever. And then they're like, holy shit, 48 hours. That's that's a lot, which, uh, yeah, <laughs> design, UI, <laughs> programming, debugging, modeling. I remember there was a the game game makers toolkit. Mark puts on a bunch of a bunch of really good game jams because he, he covers them very well. There was one year that we tried to do one of them. And mm -hmm. I think I think nobody understands scope <laughs> when you first <laughs> yes when you first Absolutely. hear things like this because we're like okay what can we do and it's like okay we'll make like an on rails Star Fox superhero thing about this guy like going on this crazy thing or what I don't even remember what the what it climaxed in or how it went. Funny enough, I feel like we were making this up, and I don't know for sure, but like our whole thing wasn't it like you were just charging up one big attack and you yes. had to pick who you were hitting with it. Something so like that, just, yeah. And I think this was, I think that predated One Punch Man. Because <laughs> I don't it think we really, because like we were just like, no, you're just a superhero and your one thing is you can hit one dude really hard and that's all your power is, but you can only do it one. Yeah, the theme was one. That was it, it was just the number one. And then I, our, we came up with doing that like one big hit thing. I remember that. And then I knew we like, hmm. and we kept things in that line, like you were traveling in one direction. So it was on rails, like think, things like, you know, kind of iterate on the theme with that. But it was like, Okay, well, we need assets for that thing. What, what's like a thing other people can do because I have to do all of this? Well, what's the other stuff that <laughs> other people can make? And it's like, suddenly we realized our two man team was maybe not going to be game jam worthy. <laughs> but I know we talked about doing like filming stuff and having FMV footage of shit on top of it and whatever. It's just like, okay, hold on a second. I don't think it's going to work there. But yeah, it, it, game jams are, you got to be really tight. You got to make them really tiny. You got to really iterate very quickly and very early you have to understand like oh i can only do the bare minimum and sometimes you aren't even gonna make that sometimes you're just gonna get <laughs> just enough to kind of get a working thing going they're hard but they're they're really good for getting that sense of like what you're capable of accomplishing and like managing scope stuff that's a big problem in a lot of game stuff yeah that does feel here. like what this like a, a game jam is, jam is designed to do is just be like this is what you would accomplish, and it takes t uh, it takes three days, and it's it's like the minimal type of game. Yeah, look how little you did. And if anything, too, <laughs> the cool thing mind. game jam stuff like also teaches you to what how powerful iterating is because a lot of games start as game jam games and then they turn into full games after that. Like there's there's a ton oh, of yeah. games that have started as just little game jam thingies that then became bigger things because they realized that oh shit, this core is really good. Like you start off with a game jam thing. And you make it really messy, you make it really sloppy, but the goal is to make a, you know, a minimum viable or least shitty prototype, whatever acronym you want to you want to use. So we're just like, okay, here's like the bits of fun. This is good enough to kind of get something neat down. 
if we just kept polishing this, like this could turn into something real. And that's getting the core down is like the hardest part for some of like for some designers. And so once that's done, then it's just the never ending tedium of polishing it, iterating on it, and then adding a bunch of bullshit to it. And there you go. There's your fucking game. Yeah. It's a good way to hone like your fundamentals. So then they see that programmer guys over there. It's like, oh shit, programmer guys here. And that phone number was a scam and all the scam text drained his battery. Killed his battery. <laughs> is that can that happen? Is that a thing? I mean, is it if it's constantly receiving notifications, I guess it would drain it at least a bit. I mean, I I would just put on Maybe this guy isn't super smart about charging his phone in. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, You're it's, right. It's already at 30% and Maybe. He, every time every time it made a noise he had to look at it to read it and yeah the screen on super bright yeah always has a screen max brightness one could describe him as a dumb smart guy mm. yeah and then it turns out that the one girl there that was also that scammed him with the phone number or whatever is also here at the game jam wow imagine that now i didn't get this because she's like the jam's theme is deceive so i was tricking you to kind of get like practice or something but like did they know that? Like, Grant, know I'm going to, I don't either, because you're not supposed <laughs> to know. So I think. Mm, uh, so like, I can't tell if she is lying here and this is another deception. She, or if She's just no cheating. I think she is <laughs> lying here because people shouldn't know the theme beforehand. And if she did, come on, come on. <laughs> well, cheating. Her, her brother's like the instructor. So I, she, I bet she's. Wait, cheating. is he? That's not him. Hold on. I thought it was. Wait I just saw the mustache and was like, it's the same guy. A layer to this you that think I don't know. I don't think that guy's her real brother. I, yeah, you I know, they just had, I'm, just, I'm just blind. They had, they had a mustache. They were the same dude. Hard. I mean, is it? I don't Might think so. the same I feel dude. like they would have made a point about it because they called I thought they would have made a point I, about you know, that too because he probably yeah. been like, that's the guy that scammed me. Like, I feel like that would have come up. a point about it later when they, when they call him out in front of the whole class. Yeah. No, true. Like, okay, well. Okay. You're a, I, I thought you didn't know the theme, so okay. So that at least makes me feel better knowing that like we're all kind of like, yeah, yes, she's either I, no, lying she's cheating. or cheating. Some, something happened. Yeah, she's, she's a cheater, cheater, maybe a pumpkin eater. And anyways, blah, 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 fuck you, we're here to network, so our game's going to be cooler than your game. Yeah, so if they have a competition that gets to rile attention towards them, and they get to network better. There you go. That's, that's TLDR of the past two Hakutaku chapters. Now you're caught up. I'm pumped because yeah. I think the idea of a game jam is the closest this series can get to a tournament arc. So, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. so I want to yeah. see where this goes and what this is about. I hope it's not just like a, a throwaway thing just to add characters to the roster. But even if it is, I'm excited to just see what they do with it because I think game jams are fun. Yeah, game jam is a... I didn't even think about it, but yeah, that is the closest thing to a tournament that you could get <laughs> with this. And doing it this early... Has me curious what, what that's going to turn into. Because there's a lot of, uh, like I said, there's a lot of really big games that started out as little game jam things. So it's like they can make this game jam game and then they like it a ton that they decide to iterate on it. And like that's, we found like, our golden it's... jewel. Now we're just going to refine this. Like, you know, or, oh, this game sucked. We got to do another game jam. And then we yeah, got to like. I don't think it was a, a game jam game, but like, isn't that basically the story of Portal where it was like, it was like a project that yeah, someone Portal... did and someone, and, and everyone was just like, this idea is so fun. We need to make this its own whole game. Yeah. Portal was a school project. That school might've been doing a little game jam thing, but I think that was like their senior project at that school. And then people from, it was like a, I want to say it was a place up in Washington because that's where Valve is. And then they, they regularly tour places to go scout stuff. And then they saw that and were like, what the fuck? This is great. But yeah, there's a bunch of angles you could go with this. A lot of lot of cool, interesting twists and turns it could have. But yeah, what do you so think? My thoughts on Hakutaku so far is that it seems like it's actually pretty lacking as far as uh, any sort of drama goes. Like, we've now had four chapters, which granted isn't very much. They, they're kind of doing one-off stuff right now to just keep the chapter self-contained. But it's... It is like, you know, Tyler mentioned earlier, they're not showing it much of the actual process to actually building the game, which, as I mentioned, I think the last time when we first covered this is like, I figured that's where the drama would come from is the difficulty in making it. And so far that that hasn't happened. The characters don't seem to have too much to struggle with. And so right now it feels, it feels almost more like a, a, a feel good type of story. I'm not entirely sure what it, what it's exactly going for with that. Is anyone else getting that kind of impression, or is it just... Yeah, no, absolutely. It's not really any struggle. But. They're just the feel goody part of game, game making and everything, and don't worry about any bad stuff right now. Yeah, this is the drum I was beating 
<laughs> when we first covered the pilot. This is not what game dev looks like. You don't just <laughs> go, yay, everything's happy, and look at all the fun stuff that hey, happened. It like, worked. I made this thing, and I made it in time, and everyone got excited about they it. They are so pleasantly glossing over a lot of shit, but I mean, yeah. a bunch of other fiction does that too. How many training montages have we had? And how many push-ups have y'all done in the past year? Like, there's a, <laughs> lot, there's a lot of things that we, we gloss over for the sake of story, like if it's good enough. But I yeah. will say that but this is not doing either well enough yeah. to what I, I like if you're not gonna show the struggle of like the real meat and like because there is cool stuff there like i'm of the camp that i do think game dev is insanely boring and you have to be so nth level charismatic to make that process interesting <laughs> if because if you yeah. don't it is incredibly boring and tedious and iterative to the point where it's you are taking minute steps over very long periods of time that take a level of dedication that most other hobbies do not require it is very fucking hard. I can speak from experience for a lot of this fucking shit. And mm. it is, they could, it would be really neat to see them delve into some of that, but I also understand them pulling back because a lot of it is not very exciting, but like maybe they're going to figure out, well, like, oh fuck, we have like, we're, we're calling the wrong function. We're doing the wrong variable here. Like you can do a lot of, especially like in the thing about games, you can do cutesy, presentations teaching people fundamentals about oh, like yeah. object oriented programming or just something about like how games function like how they work to give people both an appreciation of games and an appreciation of the struggle that goes into it that i think would be very neat but so far this has not shown what that is they were just like we're just going to need a machine learning algorithm and nothing about what it takes to interface with a machine learning program and like <laughs> stuff like that it's talking yeah. about some very real things but it's in like a half-assed way for what i want to believe is the sake of characters but those characters so far haven't been presented with enough mm -hmm. pushback to really make them turn into anything significant so yeah i i completely agree with you that's the yeah. other thing they're also not like they're working as a team but they're like they're not trying to argue creatively with anything it's just the moment somebody brings up an idea it's just yeah let's go like and then we roll yeah. with it yeah no interpersonal conflict and no struggle conflict shown at least yeah and yeah having read bakuman i i really got into that where they're making a manga and it's going through that and this is very similar setup where it's just two people joining together to to make that happen i mentioned before like Bakuman is colored by the fact that the protagonist's uncle died from overwork as a mangaka. There's like stakes and drama to it right from the yeah, like that's concept. that's really good to it, establish. And like you know, they, you don't you hardly ever actually see them drawing the manga. They don't really go into that much. It's it, but it's all about the the struggle of it. That's where the drama comes from. That's what makes it interesting and compelling. And then I started reading Akane Banashi. And that's a very similar thing. I'd never care about Rocky Go, but they made the first chapter incredibly compelling. And, and it, it was just, it really swept me off my feet. And I'm like, okay, I'm in. I don't care what topic it, it is. I don't care how boring someone sitting on a cushion and telling a story from the Edo period, Edo period is. I want to see what happens with the stakes that they've set up. And so this is, this is as a comparison, this is pretty boring. So I'm not. I'm not entirely confident of how well this is going to do. They're going to need to impress me in the next few chapters to, to really win me over. I think I, I mostly agree with everything. I think that it didn't do a lot at the outset to really win me over, but I'm like game jam. Yeah, the topic you got itself. right into it. Like this is, <laughs> this is your chance to do something. Is, of and course, yeah. very fun to talk about, like, especially cause you're so into it. But you talked about game jams. You didn't talk about this game what jam. This, you know? it's what like, this is done with a game jam the, yet. The comic isn't offering too much, so we'll have to, we'll have to see. Yeah, but like yeah, they I, just got to the game jam part. We haven't even seen it. This is their chance to actually show interpersonal conflict and like what establishing a vision looks like. And we only have 48 hours. What the fuck are you talking about? We can't do this. And they go like, but that's my baby. And it's like, well, your baby's too fucking hard to make. Shut up. Like that's, then you make it. Like, that's what I'd love to see. I'm, I, I hope that's what I can see here. So we'll, yeah, we'll like, check, I, we'll I think check I, I want to give it a little more time to see if it does anything with this, but I do agree. That's going to have to do something significantly character oriented or something significantly like detail oriented to like a pick one of those. Cause right now it's straddling a line that I think is appeasing nobody. Yeah. I, I've, like 
my like you said, I hope this is kind of in service of trying to like get us character stuff because like the way I'm kind of taking a lot of this is these first couple chapters are just here to establish that main character protagonist Coon is very good at coming up with game concepts. Like the like I think this is just to give instill you with confidence that the idea is like anytime he comes up with a concept, like just trust that it's good. And so like we're going to show you like a handful of just like kind of simple successes where it's just like he tried and his like the first idea he really came up with and it worked. And and I'm hoping that is to lead us to the conflict of like once he has to actually start like, you know, going head to head with other devs or coming up with ideas that aren't feasible or, you know, like that kind of stuff that there's going to be big pushback and it's going to be like a can he adapt? Can he fix these things? Can he make these like work within these confines? And hopefully, like you like you're saying, that the game jam is where we really get to see that. Because yeah, yeah, I I also agree that it's just kind of been a lot of like smooth sailing, which rarely <laughs> makes for good storytelling. There's a there's a million good ways this can go. I was also thinking like in the first chapter they did the big spread with the neuron overload or whatever it was that yeah just showing like lightning exploding out of his head, and then in the third chapter when he made the game with the dogs, he just got like it's like a little splash to his face and I was like oh that's a that's actually significantly less. I'm wondering if he's like not going to get as much of a high from being from completing these games and there's gonna be some yeah also he's definitely motivation. coming in this panel right like that's, <laughs> that's absolutely what's happening there. no grant he's that's feeling creative is. joy all right this is what it feels like when you make a thing why is it making like a it. sloppy goosh sound because it is better than coming this is not come it's better <laughs> okay Even my better. mistake i've come to plenty right, of have times you ever played a little life. ditty on your piano and someone goes oh damn that's real good and you're just like i'm just playing <sighs> some random thing Man, it's like, oh, fuck. No, no this one ever says nice things like that to better me. better than sex. That's what this is. Look, that's what that's I get uh, every time I do a play test session and people were laughing and having fun. And even if they tell so. me, yeah, your game's all right, but I heard them laughing and I know they're just lying to me. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. You're I, making I, Kieran come. Yeah, you're making me come. <laughs> every time you tell them how cool that card is. But yeah. There's a million ways they could swerve this to make it incredibly interesting. So I'm still holding out hope. I'm, I'm not. I'm yeah, I like the concept and premise enough that I want to give it a, a little bit more of a chance, but I definitely agree with you guys that at least these opening chapters have just seemed too smooth, too easy. Yeah, I agree. I think I would, I don't know. I don't have, we don't have a middle rating because we're good, yeah. but if I had a middle rating, <laughs> like, this would be where I'll I would give it. I'll give it an or. Yeah. I sure did read that. <laughs> Ew, an or, that, that's a good one. I'll give it a cautious reedy, I guess, where it's like, I'm ready to, to dump it. Yeah, I think yeah. I would. I still think it would would have been satisfying if you just had it at the first two chapters. I like the uh, premise enough that I'm going to give it a reedy still. I want to see that they could do something with this. And this is a manga that I think is yeah. a perfect example of something that doesn't need to be a hundred fucking chapters. I think this would be a fantastic yeah. 50 chapter story. This can be a short yeah. story and be fine. No, I'm I'm still really hopeful for it. I want I want it to be good. And the art's cute. I, I like I like how they look. Oh, yeah. It's appealing to my right. eyeballs. Well, let's let's keep moving forward then. We we've got Ichi the Witch next, right? Yes, Ichi. Bam. Ichi. Get there itchy and scratchy. Not for Ichi the Witch. All right. So for uh, Ichi the Witch, we have read chapters five and six. So let's start with five, and I'll I'll go over it. Why not? Yes. All right. Lead so Ichi has arrived at Hogwarts, and he's yes. being introduced to all the different witches there. And the witches are saying, hey, you got to take a test to see if you're worthy of, of entering our society. So that's basically what this whole chapter is about. He's introduced to a couple new characters. There's like the analysis witch, Sachi Kila. Now, Shira Badana is her real name. I think she just okay, says, she just says that. Sachi Kila when she comes out of the thing. I also like just wanted to briefly cry. point out her little high heels with the eyeballs in them yeah. is a visual that- I didn't that, even notice that. That's that great. got me immediately. <laughs> like after, cause I, I read the order that we're doing it. I read Hakutaku Ichi and then Kagurbachi. This visual was like such a, I was just like, I'm happy we're reading this. This is incredibly creative. Like this I is, really, I've been loving the designs of everything. Yeah. Like of all the characters, they, they're really good. Yeah. I think that's definitely the strength of this, this manga here. Absolutely. And they do great expressions. Yes. Yeah. Our oh, artist is fun. very fucking good. All right. And then they show Ichi how to summon the, the Pokemon magic. Yes. And it's basically, <laughs> it's basically, it's not Pokemon. It's, a, you're just saying the true name of the magic you captured and that unleashes a spell is what it seems to be. I'm a big fan of true name magic stuff. This is I a like very, 
Uh, that's a very old world mythological thing that that concept has been you around for millennia. Like true name stuff is so fucking hype. I'm like it's one of my favorite tropes in anything. I love true name shit. I love the idea that it's like, hey, you met my challenge, so you you get to know my name. Yeah, like that's it's really good. The world building and stuff that this this okay. manga is doing has been so delightfully intricate and fun. I'd still be interested to see if they if they still like the magic still are conscious in any way throughout the story because it feels like they're they can be given personalities and be ashamed to just lock them behind the tablet and a spell you know yeah but we'll have to see because right now he just he says the real name and he makes a big explosion he slice and that's all we see of inazir but instead of just attacking the dummy he attacks the mirror on the ceiling and we realize that he sensed a, a lot of powerful presence is watching him. And so his gut instinct was to attack it. And it was correct because all of the most powerful witches of the Institute were watching him through that. So it's just kind of like a, a characterizing moment of how perceptive Ichi is here. Yeah, I was like, oh, I, I'm a hunter and I went with my hunter's instincts. I know when something is bad. And so I hit it on instinct because I'm a cool hunter guy. That was fine. And then Uroto pops out and says, hey, let's let's kill those witches. They seem to be pretty bad. You seem to be against them because you're attacking them. So uh, join me. And then we, that moves right straight on to chapter six. Where... I actually was really excited for like, oh, man, are they are they going to switch it? Is it going to be like he like, sees yeah, is, the... he, is he the witch oh, hunter? Yeah. yeah. I didn't think that is for a immediate... second. Like, but... I didn't think that like they already established what the relationship between Ichi and Uroto is. At least as far as I'm, I was concerned. So I was like, yeah, he already doesn't trust Uro. So why would he just like fall for this ploy to, to, you know, join me for infinite power kind of deal. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to just go with that right away. I um, think a twist like that could still happen though. Like, I think you, that is yeah, a I string you can pull could. on. Yeah. Cause yeah. it's not less like I'm giving you infinite power. It's more like, this is how the people at the top of society are treating you here by yourself. So. Is this just what they do? Do you want to mess with that? I think as long as it appeals to Ichi's motivations, that's where the ploy is going to come from. Like, think about, like, how much more, like... But I also think that's going to be challenged in some way. Like, Ichi Ichi cannot leave this still being like, I just like hunting things. Ichi's going to have to get a bigger motivation than that. It's just there hasn't been enough time or enough, you know, evidence of whatever there is to motivate Ichi to do something else between when he first rejected Iruro and now. Like, it's only been a chapter and a half. He's met two people. He doesn't really know the circumstances any better. So he wouldn't really change his mind and join him suddenly. So, But if this were I, an I Elder Scrolls campaign and this was offered to me, I'd be like, sure, <laughs> let's kill yeah. everybody. <laughs> and, and he does try to do the sob story about how magics have always been hunted down unfairly. They were purely peaceful <laughs> creatures and all that stuff. And Ichi just sees right through it. He's like, no, you're, you totally made that up. Yeah, see, it's, it's funny because I was like not so much buying into the, like, him being a witch hunter thing, but it was more like one when Uro was telling this story, I was kind of buying into it with the idea of like, will this eventually be no, we need to figure out a let's get witches and magics living in harmony kind of thing. Is this going to be a gonna be you like have Pokemon? To be, you, you've got to be the bridge, Ichi. You've got to be the one who can communicate with both sides of this for some reason or something. But then my thoughts on that are almost immediately dashed when he's like, yeah. You're full of shit. None of this adds up. And I was like, oh, damn, you're right, Ichi. <laughs> yeah. Then we get the, this is so, this is a good page reveal. Little page yeah. turner on. Yeah, come join me. Like, yeah, sure. And grabs then the hand and grabs, then bam, flips it over. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, that's and then fun. Also, the very Howl's Moving castle e goopy magic body stuff. Yeah, uh, I love like, I love sludge magic. Yeah, beads. like this body being like Uro's little form here, being kind of gloopy. And then being splatted all against it. Everybody's like, oh, I got Huro goo in my eyes. Like, I, I like the, I, I just like that aesthetic a lot. And this is a, a fun, fun magic idea. I like that. Yeah. And I, th- I do think it will have something, some interesting, like dynamic there, even if this was kind of a fake out, because it is always kind of going on about this dynamic between the hunter and the hunted and this killing to survive thing. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fun, like moral implications that will be springing up from all this yeah 
but uh Uro just seems like uh you, you don't really care about the revenge you're you're not you're not dealing with all that stuff so i'm not gonna deal with you yeah i i like ichi's explanation of the no i can you're full of shit because when you actually have revenge like something like changes about you and it's like but you're just empty like there's nothing here with you you just constantly want to hurt things, and I, I know because I want to take a knife and stab myself. I wake up every day to remind myself I have to kill. Yeah, and I'm Ichi's, like, Ooh, okay. Ichi's gut instinct is like, okay, this is a dangerous thing inside me, so I need to stab it, and has to resist that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's it's kind of edgy, but I do think the character work is really nice. Oh no, it's, it's fine. He purely runs on instinct, and I, I, I do like that. I, I want to see his dynamic more. We like just that. got done with the Sakuna story. Now we've got another. We've got another <laughs> nine-tailed yeah. fox. Yep. It's love. It's, it's good when you can characterize your own internal demon. Yeah, pretty good. And I love this one's design. I'm always down for like a wing-clad uh, character. Yeah, I like the little oh, yeah. gremlin form, and I like the big form. It's it's very unique. It's very distinct. It kind of it's a Madoka e kind of to me Ooh. a little bit. Yeah, it's really nice. And then the analysis witch is the one who's who says, "Hey, EG, you're all good. I've I've looked you over, and I know everything about you now. And I say you're a good dude." And then so. we got the I like first good dude in history. I want to call this Thank part you. out here because this seems very deliberate to go. My analyses are Ooh, never yeah. wrong. If I say something is correct, then it is by definition correct. <laughs> so That's like, a red flag, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this is, we are just I, putting, I setting the this here. Truth. We're just going to have this so we can call, like, this just seems, hi, viewer, do you understand how this works? Because this is going to happen <laughs> later. Is, Unchecked uh, power? You know what that is? Yeah, so uh, I, I, I liked this a lot, and I, this could come about like this has multiple forms, right? Where they're like, "Oh, so you're saying you're actually really special," and then just just whatever their, their name is says in more than one way, like this witch is actually very special, and so this could be like they have the ability to decree what truth is. They have the ability to make something real because mm -hmm. they say so. They have the ability to perceive it. Like whatever, like I don't know. Like there's a there's a bunch of different ways you could do this. Like this just seems like a very abstract power, and I'm curious what cashing this check in looks like because that's 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 fun. Yeah, uh, the immediate vibes it definitely gives like kind of like cult religion type of. I can't. Yeah, could just I be divine. super confident and just braggadocious <laughs> intelligence. Like, this might not be a magic thing. <laughs> With eyes like this, you think it's not a magic thing? I mean, because because the way what's her name, Drescara or whatever, like kind of it says it. Like I, the way I read this is like when he's like, "You're saying you're actually really special," and she goes, "In more ways than one." I I took that as her like kind of insulting her, oh, like oh, like like he's okay. saying it more like you're special, like you're weird, you're different, you're odd. And she's like, "Yeah, in a lot of ways, like this weirdo, this fucking gotcha." Weird. Okay, mm, I, I didn't get that, that vibe, way. but I that, that I was could how see I read it. But and I also really like your interpretation. And kind of hope you're way, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't think about that. That's definitely something to watch. Out I, for there. I, I like your interpretation, though. I kind of hope you're right because I love the with, idea like, of modern like stories, institutions like, like this always do seem to be the bad guy. Yeah, this always is the bad guy. Like every like society is always bad, or some element of it is bad. You're a wild person from the woods. I don't think the moral is, okay, wild child, you got to go to normie school now. Learn how to be a civilized person. It's probably going to be something in the middle, so we got to cut out the parts of society that are bad. And I don't, this, this seems very deliberate, just this, this paneling yeah. and everything right here. So I'm like, oh, wonder what that's about. That's all I would say. All right. And then they uh, force, well, I don't remember her name, but she, she's still she like the very end. Like, okay. Well, we but met her in the last chapter, in. right? Yeah, we she dropped a letter like a second, while they yeah. were on their way to the the castle thing. Where it was, she was the one that did that, right? I think yeah. so. I think so. But they the TLDR from that one was just we're the magic research club. Like that's all you really need to know. Yep. And so then they uh, go on a little montage while she's trying to say, "Wait, I didn't have a say in this." Uh, yes. Then yeah. She threw. Yeah, her going, hello, excuse me, please, please slow down. I don't want to be part of this, your little team. And then we get All the... that's happening. She's going through all the different shops and, and departments to become a fully fledged witch. And I like them going, E, we'll be waiting. And she's still going, excuse me, is it, nobody's answered me yet. I don't want to do this. We got to yeah, make an outfit the... for a guy. 
all the girls are excited because they finally have a boy to do things with. And so they're just like, you know, he's going to be the talk of the town, the magic boy. Yeah. And, you can and see all the different store she- shopkeepers are just like, swooning. this presentation I, is I, so fun too. Like, I like the, the little vignette they have on the side here with the big fancy flourish on the title and then yeah the little like flowers on the fashion one and then we just got the curtains with the like the rust the little rustic boards and and screws <laughs> aesthetic on this sign here it's it, it's a good look I, I like how much they're putting into some of this paneling like just artistically it's always so fun personality to the shops basically i love the design of this character too i don't even know if they, she has a name but i don't think so it's really good reminds me a lot of pura from tears of the kingdom Yes, I yeah, see I see that. And they're like, oh, we're going to turn your your dagger that you already have, we're just going to turn that into a wand. I'm like, ooh, that's neat. Like, that's cool. Like, using your old hunting dagger into a, yeah. to that is neat. That's, that's fun. It's a, There's a lot of definitely, I don't know if it's the artist or the writer or both, but they're very fixated on, like, all these fun, like, details of, of clothes and aesthetics and accessories. And also, I so. think an, <laughs> another thing that is, like, I noticed this a lot in, like, duo story like when it's not just the one guy doing the story and the art i think you always get yep. more room for things like this like i i love like how much side. detail is in yes. these fucking things because yeah they don't gotta fucking worry about all this other shit they dedicate <laughs> all their time to doing just a little artsy bit so they can just have the little characters in there doing my, my knife and having like <laughs> having them show up there for a bit is, is cute it's just it makes every panel feel more lived in like i'm actually looking yeah. in a window into this world and not just like whatever it's, yeah it's, it's, i think I, I do really really like the combination of a, a writer and artist duo on manga i think that's definitely a really solid way to make a good story on the bottom panel of that page what she's saying all is in readiness i didn't understand if this was supposed to be like a like a language thing like is she like like is, oh, you know, oh, is I, she like a foreigner so she's like kind of saying things wrong is this like a? I didn't think about that until you bit? said that like mm. I, I, I like I wasn't sure why she says all is in readiness because that just seems like such a weird way to word that that I feel like it has to be on purpose and so I, I wasn't quite sure if I was supposed to have implied earlier like she's like a foreign exchange student this is like the the Russian girl who's at the Japanese school like I, I didn't know if that's like what they were doing here but like I, I that just word bubble really mm. stuck out to me. And I was like, did I miss something where like, she's like, sorry, I don't really know the language yet. I or, will. Or, she's just a goofball character. There is. Yeah. Like I could also just be reading way more into it. Than, than I don't it know is. if it was here or Kagurabachi. I think it wasn't here. There, there were like two typos that I noticed, but this seems really like that seems real purposeful. That's, so that's the same like, kind of purposeful. So I don't know. But, but yeah, she could just be a goofball. She could just be like, you know, just being silly, but I didn't yeah. know if I'd missed something somewhere. Wanted to yeah, I didn't notice bring any it to the speech people. patterns from her before, so I, I really don't know. Also, okay, is Same or Ame or Isame? Is that shark? Same I, is I, I, shark, yeah. Okay, because I was immediately like, like Kisame from Naruto? Yes, like <gasps> Kisame from Naruto and Same to his sword. Oh, you know what? I didn't even piece that part together. <laughs> yeah, so they I have. knew the name of his sword. <laughs> they have the. What? You didn't? No, I don't think I could tell you any of the seven sword guys' swords. I could tell I you know Kisa- little... Kisame's or Bridge Guy's. God, what's his name now? <laughs> bridge Guy. Who's Bridge, bridge Guy? Dude. Bridge Man. B? Bridgeman? <laughs> Talking about Zabuza? Zabuza. Oh, My favorite bridge. bridge Guy. Bridge Guy, dude. Ben, bridge you better get ready to read all of Naruto, because this is going to uh, give you... You don't. You can't read manga. So read... You're not going to get... I've so, read, I've read a lot guy. of Naruto. Naruto. You're going to look at Bridge Guy on the Naruto Wikipedia for this to pull up right here. And, and Bridge Guy beat back. the rower. <laughs> I've read a lot of Naruto. To out. What did you read up to? Yeah, exactly. What's the sword's name? Uh, the guy with the scythe from the Akatsuki That's and the right. other guy. We've said this like fought. five times oh, and I always okay. forget yeah. that you got to the Kakuzu Hidan fight. Yes, that, that thing. Which, that's where I lost interest. Which fight, though? Yeah, what part? Did you see Kakashi fighting? Yeah, who who were Manor? they fighting? Did you see? Oh God, what's his name? Shikamaru versus. <laughs> you can remember all the swords, but you can't remember Shikamaru. Uh, there's a lot of guys. All right, shut up. There's a lot of guys. There's seven swords. Yeah, whatever. I it don't matter. The, who they were fighting? <laughs> yeah, they, they all died in the. And ever since then, I vaguely followed along with Naruto, so I know the overall story beats. So I'm I'm pretty familiar with Naruto. God darn it, Ben. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, his first mission is to fight the shark spirit magic thingy, right? It's a magic, yep. a proper noun. 
Magic, Magic. which I still don't know what the katakana or kanji of it is. We'll never know. I'll never know. There's no way to figure it out. There's no way to ever figure it out. I'm Googling it right now. I don't, I don't know if I agree with how they write this. I'll have to look and see what they do. But I I, I like it, though. I, I like the yeah. how they My write it. My personal guess is they just write the katakana for magic. What is to see. Frost damage. So we're going to probably get a new ice move in our arsenal. Soon. Ice move. And what's it going to be strong Please against, attack. Grant? And probably not fire. So, you know, maybe... Water, you could freeze the water, you could stop its movement. That'd be good, that'd be good. Good against plants, plants don't like being frozen. I mean, I uh, put like plants in the- Flying type. I put my green beans in the freezer and then I eat them. That seems yeah, fine. you eat them, you defeat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not alive. Because they've been weakened <laughs> by the ice. I don't know, it tastes pretty good to me. Chewing six yeah, times I'm... was the contract to gain their nutrients. <laughs> and then I learned the true name. You don't want to know what a, what a, the real yeah, name of asparagus is. Real name is. <laughs> you wonder why your piss on the smells toilet. bad. Holy shit. I started eating asparagus a lot recently, so. <laughs> you know, it's got that stank on it, man. Um, I love asparagus. But grilled though. asparagus, so good. It, it is. is. It's really fucking no, good. It's grilled, great. grilled asparagus. I will always reason load it with all a the shit ton of salt, salt though. Yeah. Yep. No, grilled asparagus fucking rules, but damn, it makes your pee pee smell. But yeah, go. I liked this where like we were heading towards the school, so I was a little worried that it was just gonna be a high school. We're in high school. Yeah. We're at Hogwarts, but no, it's gonna be more Naruto where it's like school is just we're the checkpoint sending you out on missions. Yep. Yeah. Hi. Bye. Like I, I, I like that too. I, I'm really not. I know some people like the learning the hierarchy of the like the, the big new place and stuff, but I'm way more interested in seeing the characters I know go on fun adventures early. Like I don't want to learn. Yeah, I feel like yeah. you can. Yeah, I feel things. like you can. You can like pepper in that hierarchy stuff as you go and make it interesting because you have to interact with it. Yeah, way. like we established yeah. I like that the there's idea of being able to witches. check in occasionally. There's, there's a uh, there's more witches that are wa which watch which witch is which watching you. We know that there is a concept. Witches. Which uh, I love the one who has like scars on their chin, so it looks like they have a beard. I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> Are you sure? Because they've got little. I think I mean, so. I think that's got, what like, it's supposed to be. Blades, and they've got like horns. Like they have, they have horns coming out. Like I think these are like little, little. Mm. I thought little that's just their hair. That is not their Ooh. hair. Those are horns. Oh. Like this Look whole thing, a... like wraps around and like does this whole little thing. I thought it was just implying they had curly hair. They made, maybe they made deals with demon like in, looking magic. Demon magic. And she also has one mouth there. hair. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. So she have the yeah. what's his name? The the hair Katsuki mouth. guy with the hand mouth. She's Holy got hair mouth. Shit. This is this is gonna. When does she show up? That's, that's, yeah. That's important. There's gonna be some fan art of her. <laughs> I yeah. Have a feeling. I need. I need that. But yeah, there's a whole whole bunch of people showing up that like. Yeah, I honestly kind of skimmed over this. So there's a lot of interesting be. characters. Yeah. But yeah. Maybe Ichi the witch. Big implications for the future. Any any big takeaways? Anything you want to talk about in uh, more detail? I'd say this has given me a little bit more confidence that things will be things will be pretty good. I'm I'm liking that they're finding confidence in their their whole stylization of of, of fashion and aesthetics and all that stuff. So it seems like they're they're getting an idea of they're putting out an idea of what they want this to be. I like a lot about how this looks. I think it's got like an interesting idea. Honestly, like none of the characters are really getting me. Like even. Ichi, I think he like I I understand him. I like you know like he's a hunter, and I get that that is kind of like his deal. Uh, but so far, like I don't have like a character who I'm like, oh, I love this character, and I want to see what they get into next. Like I think Uru a cool a cool design. Like Descara, I don't like. She just seems like smug hoity toity girl. Like I don't yeah, really I know, care and I about love her. her. Like I don't. Like, <laughs> I that's hate a, that like, type of character. Yeah, like I'm kind of not into that kind of character. So I, I like unless she gets a big like you know, humility check. Like, I, I really never really vibe with those characters. Normally, I'm not, but dude, look at her. And I think, like, <laughs> the, I think the girl who's being, like, dragged along, like, I'm maybe most curious about her, just because, like, yes, I, I think I, she'll I, I want to see what, I want to see what yeah. she's about. Uh, <laughs> By the way. I'm going to make you coo moogie when you see what she's all about. Uh, but yeah, like, I, like, I like this. It's, it's, my feelings are like kind of mixed on this because I feel like I like a lot of what it's doing, but so far, I kind of just also feel like I don't care. So it's like uh, it's early so, enough that I think that's okay. Like you don't—it's the don't potential. Have have me, yeah, yeah. You don't have me super roped in yet, but like I'm, I'm still interested, and I want to see where it goes, though. Yeah, there. You can just—I, I get that. Like you can just tell they're very skilled at what they do. They, they have a good way of presenting everything. So it's compelling just for that alone, and the story hasn't won you over yet. 
Yeah, basically. And I'm a big sexist, so if this world's gonna be like, <laughs> the women are great, and all the dudes are, I'm gonna be like, F that. I really I need my don't big think manly that's men happening. showing me how tough they are. <laughs> don't worry, we got that plenty. Only Ichi can succeed in this. Yeah, world. I need Ichi to be better at magic than every girl he meets. <laughs> True. Then this will be a good story. True. Yeah. Different thing, but I'm super excited to see like cosplays of these characters walking. Yeah, around. that'll be cool. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. yeah. All the Lots fashion is really like yeah. every design has been very good. Yeah. Fun. But yeah, I think I, I, I generally agree. Reading. Like I, I think that there's a. There's a lot going on that is interesting in the world. They're not spending too much time in nitty gritty details, but I don't need that. I'm I want to get attached to people first, and I'm kind of with you. Where just it, every, you only get so much time, and there's so many things to like to balance, like with story stuff. And it's like, okay, you're gonna spend this yeah. working on characters. You're gonna spend this trying to work on the world, the plot. Like, there's only so many things you can convey in a chapter. These have been very world heavy chapters, like kind of world and people stuff, and. They've been fine, uh, but yeah, I'm kind of with you. That's just like I, I don't really feel a ton with them yet. That I would like to see more. The aesthetics of it carry a lot of my yes. interest, and I think that's I like looking fine. at this manga a lot. Yes, it's pretty. Yeah. That, 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 is, that it, does it's a lot. really pretty to look at, and I'm still like really interested in the world with like the challenges with the mod geek. Yeah, yeah, that could be really fun. It's it's a good setup for something that could be really silly because. Then you could get a 50 episode arc where, well, this guy's challenge is you have to play a, a mini game. And then we got to learn the rules of this mini game. And I think I just want everything to be Kaiji. Reedy. Yep. Reedy. I give it a Reedy. It's a Reedy for my me challenge well. is to stare into my eyes for five years. And it's just a months of just the same chapter of them just staring at each other. <laughs> no, then the one Ichi figures out that it doesn't have to be his eyes. He can use the eyes of someone else. Ooh. No, he can use like a statue. Like it can be. He like draws eyes on a rock. With, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On on a volleyball and puts it in front of it. Yeah, this is Wilson. You will get some <laughs> He gets a mirror or a bunch of mirrors and then stacks them together and then it's like compounds time together, right? Whoa. All right. Oh well, my god. That and was then we got time. now we've got Kagura Botch. Time the best it, the king of the heap. Fuck. Every time it's Kagurabachi time. Uh, I'm Kagurabachi. Out of my fucking mind. Still I, doing right. great. Here we go. That Chekhov's gun we placed on that mantle earlier, picking it up. The greatest <laughs> analogy you've ever heard. The ultimate <laughs> yes, metaphor. Yes. I'm so ready. I think Kagurabachi is basically a master class grilled cheese. <laughs> I don't think it is doing anything particularly new or revolutionary. But they have got the toast at the perfect temperature, the exact amount of butter it needs, the perfect blend of cheeses in the middle, and it is just a delicious grilled cheese that it is every time you eat it, you're like, you know, that wasn't fancy, that wasn't, they didn't do anything necessarily unique or super special or new, but they just hit every note just right. And I think that is what I think of Kagurabai. Wow. <laughs> yes. I'm absolutely. so glad we hyped that up. Is that Thank you <laughs> for giving me the space, for giving me this venue Hang on, to me, discuss me... my discoveries. My TED talk here did not yeah, make it to the main stage. Let me, let me give you a... This is Grant's backdoor into telling me he wants me to make more grilled cheese. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's on, always a quest on his mind. To try and make cheese. a grilled cheese that measures up to Kagurabachi. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Like every. Because it was one of those things that I, I know I've said this like every time we've gotten to Kagurabachi, like when we were reading Jujutsu Kaisen and the other shit, it was what I got to last because I was like, oh yeah, Kagurabachi. Like, I gotta I should, see what's happening. I should, I should probably do that. But now like I, I, I'm reminded of how much I, I enjoy those simple pleasures. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, I'm excited for this grilled cheese. I'm excited for this delicious pb and j every time we eat the grilled cheese it's good yeah, it's like, i just yeah. gotta keep it's a it. simple meal but damn it did they make it tasty every time pretty good it's <laughs> got that crunch yeah i i, I totally agree with you because it's like it's not necessarily like because the... if you hear me describe this series it is not going to sound all that exciting it is like boy on <laughs> revenge quest collecting swords like and he's really good at sword fighting and it's like that's cool you've seen this idea a million times but I just think every like every chapter, I'm just pumped because I think it looks good. Everything moves well. Like, yeah, like the story flows like it's just it's good. And I just like it. Yeah, it's just good. And I, fe I feel like this yep. is a standard like this is what I would consider like 
what I want things to be at least if they can't meet this, I want them to be exceeding this or maybe a little under this. Like this is what I'm looking for. At the very least striving for it. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. trying to get to this point. Like I can give people like benefit of the doubt when like give them a little leeway because they might have better characters. Than yeah. They might have better worlds than Kagurabachi. They might have better action, but this is just such a, a perfect, like, I, I wouldn't say it is a, uh, the Jack of all trades master of none doesn't apply here. Cause I think this is masterful in its use of paneling and motion. Like I think the art of motion in Kagurabachi is yeah. almost like unparalleled with current stuff going on right now. Um, I don't yeah. read everything, so I don't fucking know, but like, it's really fucking good based on what <laughs> I've read throughout my life. So I, w I would put it very high on that list. But in terms of like its world, its plot, it's characters like they're they're really good like it's just it's just good yeah. it, it's good stuff all around we just do apple jam and so let's get into it the first page as we started to notice the trend is always very indicative of what this full chapter is about yeah and it's actually not entirely clear until you've seen the whole chapter what this is kind of getting at but my understanding is that they're talking about how oh the shaku the these bad magic men They've been all over the place. They've been in hiding. They've been making a lot of moves recently, but we don't know what they're doing. We yeah. need to capture them alive. And so I think that's kind of what the idea of this is, is that that's Chihiro's goal right now is to fight, but keep his opponent alive. That's, yeah. that's kind of the overarching theme of this chapter. The guy who's been an expert at swooping in and chopping their heads off before they can do something <laughs> has to be able to make sure he does not kill his target. Yeah, the what's this guy's fucking name? What is his name? I he really like it, him now, but he, I, I Hiruhiko. He says it right. Yeah. Hiruhiko is his name. Here you go. This this like you mentioned that like not killing people, but like I there's a particular like moment here that I, I really liked the exchange here. Like this is I I will chalk this up to both good writing and good translation. Goes like, I'm really looking forward to this moment. Like, I'm 18, same as you. And like, this little finger motion here, like, I can tell what they're doing. <laughs> it's like yeah. pointing at themselves Point and pointing and at Chihiro. Like, it's Look at that. great motion stuff here. Very, very small things. And then there's another one later on. It's just like, I've coomed. And then Chihiro goes, so what? Killing people in bold, and just like, <laughs> like that's not a sentence. That's not a, you didn't you didn't ask that. You didn't say anything. Like, just like that just, is what is the same here. Like, so what? Killing people. I first learned about that option when I was three. It became etched in my bones. But the kids around me weren't like that. Up till now, I've never had anyone my age I'd consider a peer. Jahira Roka here. You and I could be friends. <laughs> like God. the way that he's just so in his own head about everything, and just like. I so I so clearly see this part of you that has been talked around, and I'm cutting straight to it. And like yeah. we we've talked about You're that a lot, a killing too, machine. About like, oh shit! Like we we've talked about this in the like in the sense of like how violent Kagurabachi is, but also in the way that like how how do you balance having this? Like Kosojo touched on this. This is a this is not a yeah. new theme. This was like. Swords are meant to kill people. Like this is a, a running. We have this exploration of like what it means to. I think be this violent. panel in particular. Sorry to interrupt, but this panel in particular of of him is almost exactly mirroring that Sojo expression. Yes, where he realizes that Chihiro doesn't think these weapons are for killing. So now we've got this parallel between Sojo, who thought his father was a, a great killer, and now we've got this guy who thinks Chihiro is a great killer. They're very similar yes. in that way. Yeah, like both parts of this equation are made to kill people, and I appreciate the you part of it more than anything. It's like, but you know, like that good character shit, man. Like that, that's that's it's cool great. stuff. I good love shit. also like just the charisma of this guy. He's like just the fact that he's like so matter of fact about it that he's so like unquestioning of his morality and just genuinely happy to find someone who who acts like him. Yeah. It's just very fun to see. It's it's very compelling. You're you are you're true emo. I'm dark emo. <laughs> and they they have a really fun anime battle. Again, like talking about how well Kagurabachi captures motion. I know like we weren't gonna say we weren't doing panel by panel, but fuck it's coming. It's Kagurabachi <laughs> deserves it. <laughs> the opening of the hands and the little sheets of paper between them with the little uh, the little uh, like between like I know like the little plappy paper noise of like shut like flanning cards paper. and shit yeah. like that's just like you you describe it so well and just this one little panel and then we cut to there now there's paper everywhere and i'm like i i can see this 
so clearly how we get from here to here in that it's oh fuck it's so fucking yeah. good like, like the fact that he's drawing all these different pieces of paper in motion just just accentuates just how well the he just draws all this flowing motion it's just, yeah it's great yeah it's it's the drew drops up the we get the escape happening here which i was wondering where this was gonna go uh, yeah. and then we get a pointing out like oh he was bluffing counter n10 forces whatever like Dude just fucking ran away and is gonna now nah, I gotta chase him down. <laughs> and then we get a nice cutaway to him at a A theater. A theater where they're watching I knew that what is this does anybody know what this play is called or this little performance? Cause this is one that gets talked about all the fucking time about like Sasuke killing the the ogre or whatever. The ogre. Yeah, I've definitely heard that like narrative, but I don't know like the name of it. I don't remember either. I'm a fake weeb. Fake but weed. yeah, fake weed. And then he's talking to this guy. Is this? I I, I didn't know if he I don't knew know if this, this is guy. A guy. We know. I think he's just chatting the guy next to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's just a rando. I think he's just he's just gone to this theater and now he's talking to the dude next to him. Okay, I I would believe that uh, as well. But he's just very he does seem like the chatty. type of person just give his unsolicited opinion to the person <laughs> next to him in a theater about the movie they're watching. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever struck up a conversation in the middle of a show with a random person, but. This guy's built different because he doesn't have a cell phone. He has to look at the, at the world <laughs> around. He's got to interact. It. Yeah, he's living in the moment. The I like like so many fun little visuals here too. With like just like I like, like the fade with the little paper like butterfly here, and then uh, here he goes kind of reminiscing on how like how dissatisfied he is with like how the Datenseki has been used uh, like kind of poorly. With everybody, like, yeah, they have a bunch of people. Like, we've already, we've established, like, the numbers disparity thing in the previous chapters. Like, yeah, we got a bunch of dudes, but they kind of suck. So, like, you can give a rando a bazooka. They're not going to do anything with it. Doesn't mean uh, he can still wield it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and he's like, but these guys are different. Like, I got these guys because I, I know them. And this so. the squad I assembled. These guys should be pretty dang good. And then we got, like, the fun little thing of like oh but i'm guiding these guys and then chihiro figures out that he's being guided by that and then he in his own yeah. head like flashes back to this means we can kill you just like i wasn't bluffing and then this little paper arrow points down because oh they're, we're at the spot blow it up it's here it's under it and then we're at the we're at the climax of it and then everything explodes and then this motion shot is when I coomed. This one was so good. <laughs> where the explosion goes off and they're finally falling through the theater. And then we see Chihiro. Look at look how clean this is. Chihiro cut this guy. Blood is moving this way. This way. Bam. And then he is halfway through this He's guy's neck. in this neck. man's neck. It's, like, <laughs> it's oh. so cool. Finishes the circle. And then so, look at that. Look at that right there. Uh, uh, so, that does look rad. Uh, real quick to pull it back. When he was talking about like the, but this team I've got like can, mm -hmm. can do it. I think I might have misinterpreted this, but I also thought it was a cool idea that like because I didn't piece together that Chihiro was talking about the papers that he's controlling remotely. At first, I thought he meant the dudes he was fighting were being controlled oh, remotely, being like, remote like these like these were like paper soldiers that he was sending after him. So oh. he's like, yeah, he's like, we've got these hired goons who can't do shit, but I've got my squad that I trust. Because it's just me, motherfucker. <laughs> like was what was what I thought was happening. But now I understand I misinterpreted that. Just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. yeah. It, that is just a great action shot. I I love the fact that it's very clear how they're falling as well. Yeah. Just from the top down, it's it's great. Good shit. Uh, very dramatically, Chihiro lands on the stage with the bodies <laughs> piling up around him. Mm -hmm. Man. The head just facing the crowd. But Which yeah. also just showing that like in Shonen Jump. I know, yeah. right? Like, But it being that gruesome is, is a big part of like what makes this chapter work. I mean, it's like... Oh, yeah. Chihiro says, I'm nothing like you, but you like k killing people. And then he decapitates yeah, someone. I, I decapitated in, in three the... guys. And I mean, you can like see it too. Like, he's not happy about it necessarily. <laughs> it's not like, yeah. Which, I th which gets pulled up on a little bit. But, uh, you know, I like this little visual of Everybody running like this is oh my god I'm cooming this is so good that everybody like in the audience like is witness to like this happen which is a perfect parallel to when he was fighting Sojo and saved everybody who was watching and they were all like fuck yeah you're so cool but they didn't see the gritty parts of how many people he's killing of how many people died got, to yeah get to him get there. to that point so now that we have an audience for the the dirty parts of the job let's say they're like 
they they hate that. They think that you're a monster. And it's like, and just him sitting there in the audience with everybody leaving. It's like, it's kind of cheesy, <laughs> but I really like it. I really no, like it's this. Definitely it's like kind of cheesy, like a good grill. Like a good like grill. The metaphor <laughs> continues to serve. You're all welcome. Thank you. Thank you. No, it really works. Yeah. I like this. is It's very heavy handed in like how this serves the metaphor. Right. But like. But I like it. It's 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 fun. It, it's fun and very theatrical. Uh, haha, get it. Uh, and then he's like, I'm the only one who gets you. He's like, shut up. Oh, yeah. Cut good. the BS. I, I like this one a lot because I was I've been wanting to see more of whoever this was and happen happy that we got to see so many cool things in this one chapter. Yeah. It's very fun to watch. And then always uh, down to have Cheer Hero have his ideals challenged. A grilled cheese yeah. hero. He's a grilled <laughs> cheese hero. And then Kagurabachi was on the front cover of Jump this week and also got a big, not only a color chapter cover, but then a color two page spread as well. I'm He's coloring sick. a lot I, of I didn't actually this look week. at the two page. That yeah. Awesome. Pink that hair. That is awesome. Look at that. Not, not yeah, what I would have thought. A, a very light pink, but yeah. In my eyes, he was blonde. I also love the keeping up with the, like, a lot of the themes of, you know, a lot of very, like, Pulling on a lot of historical Japanese stuff, we have all watercolor here. Mm. Yeah, cool. like I, I, I mean, that's love... what I I think a lot of mangaka use that at least for what I've seen. Do um, they? I don't it's... keep. I don't like. I don't honestly see that many. I mean, no. Just because like I've tried to mimic that style a lot, I always try to go with watercolors or I see yeah Copics use yeah like the yeah the, those which is very, very similar kind of blending that you'd get yeah. So that's that's typically what they go with. Okay, well it's not cool at all. And I hate it. <laughs> well, boring. Everyone does it, I guess. Unique? Ununique? I don't know. You got an olive in this grilled cheese. Gross. Uh, you messed it up. Uh, yay, flashback! With Samara. Yay! We'd love to see it. Also, Black it's uh, What's-His-Face's birthday, isn't it? Yes, today yes. Is... Oh, yeah, Mr. Shiba. Mr. Shiba. To date this. Happy birthday, happy happy birthday, birthday Mr. Shiba. Mr. Shiba. Everyone say happy birthday in the comments. Man, yay! wouldn't it be cool to be able to just teleport wherever you wanted for your birthday so you could go to like six parties in a day? That'd be good. Can you teleport a whole like oh, entourage man. with you? Have you, have you explored that? I yeah. would sign up for uh, as many free birthday present uh, things as you could. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Just hit Ooh, up every yeah, place that has like a free birthday like, snack free birthday or a birthday drink bam, 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 or whatever. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're in fucking Dallas. I guarantee we could we could We do could within bench, probably some of this like shit. seven or eight things. Yeah. yeah. Flashback this flashback more... flashes back kind of to the flashback that we had earlier. Yes. Where he's cutting through the the rest of the cutting. Just whatever dummy thing. And this time it's, it's Chihiro who's cutting through it, and he's just learned from Samura what how how to do it properly. Yeah, and also keeping up with the, you know, we established this a while ago, but it's still doing it, and it is good. The first two pages of the chapter usually tells you what the theme of this chapter is, which is more than many other things are doing. So it's mm -hmm. really cool when it does it, and I love mm -hmm. seeing the like the focus here being like. Yo, don't don't get it twisted, kid. We killed tons of people. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, and the you know, number of lives. Do I not admire so the a killer. Yeah, and then we get the resolution ish here of like, oh yeah, I I understand you. What are you talking about? Like, well, I want to kill you, and I want to be friends. Like, maybe we can become friends by trying to kill each other. <laughs> and I've never had a friend, so I don't really know how this whole friendship thing works, but that's I mean, what I do. Mutual interest, yeah. Yeah, like, that sounds fun. He's like, <laughs> To okay. a degree, I get it. There's times when I play a dude in Smash Brothers, and by the yeah. time we're done with our 30-game set, I'm like, I feel like I know you as a person now. I understand <laughs> yeah. you as a human. Yes, you, you learn a little bit more about that. Um, he just wants to do this, but with murder. So, you know, I yeah. get it. See, if they were just gamers, I think we could... This would actually yeah, be... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if he could be, you know... Killing him in Call of Duty or in Minecraft. See, Ben, they can. That's the actual answer. They can. It's called right. Kaiji. That's why us gamers are the most <laughs> oppressed people, because we have all the answers. That's true. And the man they, can't they let you hear him. Because he was right. Yep. But then he swore we got our love. Finally, the fight starts uh, for realsies. And then he blasts out a whole bunch of paper. And then all this paper's everywhere that can't see anything. And then realizes that all the bystanders in the theater have now been ensnared in this paper cave construction that has been built or whatever. Is whirlwind of paper everywhere. You can't see a thing. Except for people. Who is friend or foe? And he can detect my location with the paper. 
Uh, and we know that he makes these little paper cranes and he can hit you with them and they're real bad. So, so it kind of, it also like retroactively makes a lot more sense why he came to this theater. It's a nice enclosed space with tons of people to use as, as a bunch of meat shields. Yeah. Meat shield, yeah. Yeah. So he's, you want to have a closed space to trap him in. Cause if they were just going to fight on the street, a little easier to dodge everything. Yeah. But he's trying to really figure well. out how like Chihiro is going to do anything. And I, I like kind of, you know, hand of the author coming in a little heavy here, but I, I like it. If you use Kuro, you could, you know, like, this is what Jujutsu would do all the time. Yeah. Of just like, here's why Hero Here, can't I'm do things. Give you your two bad options. <laughs> yeah. If you use Kuro, you could cut everything, uh, but you might hurt people. You could use Nishiki to blast around, but the cranes are currently chasing you, so they would cut through like the trail you're leaving behind, also hurting people. So are you just gonna sit there and defend? Like, what are you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Like, you're doomed to die a death by a thousand cuts. And then, you know, we see a and person the people coming you're in. trying to help. Let's just add some mental warfare to this. The people you're helping are terrified. <laughs> yeah, of they you. think they're, they're attacking the place. So they're like, what the fuck? Get away from me. They're really showing the like, hey, this is why we're the anti tier hero squad. Yes. Yep. Yeah. A lot of very targeted things to take them down, which is super cool. Didn't think we know your ability. We know how to work around. Didn't think man's would be done in by a couple post-it notes, but it's working out. And, and flashing this, over to the like the like analogies with the play and stuff. Yep. And this is color commentary from I forget his name again, but the guy. Uh, Kiku. And he Hiro. says Sasuke is garbage because he let hostages get in his way, which is a very fun way to say that. It's a very child, nice, fun, childish way to. <laughs> yeah, him saying that. garbage. If you didn't is waste your word. time saving the hostages. You could have killed more people. Come on, <laughs> this dude is a gamer. Yeah, you'll never get the high score. That's all I'll say. Yeah, and then we get the, the resolute moment here of him, like, kind of putting his, he kind of drops his, uh, Chihiro drops his sword, looks down, and then he seems kind of surprised, like, oh, you're, you're a Sasuke too, aren't you? Like, kind of disappointed, like, he was really hoping <laughs> yeah. you would, like, crack or something, and then gets blasted by a billion of the paper cranes, and then we get double-double flashback, Samora mentioning that he didn't like seeing severed flesh, which is another reason he blinded himself. But he always remembers what it looked like when he cut somebody, and he felt like he could turn himself, becoming a feel himself turning into a monster. I like this because it's like I feel like they, they sort of like I mean it was still serious, but they sort of played him blinding himself as a joke because he was like I did it to free myself from the you know my worldly desires mm -hmm. while he's still smoking and hoping to look at porn someday. <laughs> but then like we kind of add this like this might be more the real reason of like I really couldn't stand to look at the things I had to do. And so I blinded myself so I could keep doing them is like a real like, oof, OK, like that is a commitment to you to what you view as your duty. Yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's it's interesting that they both worked very well individually and combined like the, yeah. the two motivations, because it's just like, yeah, there's levity there, but there's also you don't blind yourself for no reason. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good combination. Like it n neither one of those motivations dismisses the other. And that's a hard balance to pull off. Yeah, it does it in a way that I, I, I appreciate like following up on this because even though we kind of were done with Samora's chapter, I like getting a little more about him. It's here. making me like Samora more, and I know he's still probably got a fight going on <laughs> in the other location that we're going to cut to. That we're going to cut to, so we're going to follow up on this there. Yeah. Like We're yeah. already pre-laying that down in a way that I think will be fun. But yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a crazy monster. I'm going to hell. Don't. Don't do what please I did. Please don't be like me. Yeah. And um, this page here, I'm really stuck on. I'm, I'm fascinated by because he says, you're not trying to become a swordsman anyway. And Chihiro says, right. I, and then it. Actually, yes. What is so, Luffy's real dream? <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like what Chihiro doesn't want to be doing this. We know he doesn't want to be killing people, but he doesn't want to be a swordsman at all. What, what actually does Chihiro want to do? And I don't think we've really gotten an idea of that because he's always just been focused on the mission. I feel like there's always been a layer of self-sacrifice and that's like with cutting back to the shot of Chihiro being horribly damaged to help other people. Like we've constantly seen that like what, what makes Chihiro not a Sasuke is that Chihiro is cool putting himself on the line for other people, even though he has all the motivations to be a crazy Sasuke guy. 
And I don't think that alone is like, I want to help people. Is like, wait, not, not play Sasuke, but our enemy guy, <laughs> like the Naruto the... Sasuke. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. I didn't even we think of the fact that we were just Sasuke. talking about Sasuke. <laughs> yeah. We were just uh, talking about the play where Sasuke was the dude who failed at his mission because he protected the hostages. No, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm, I was thinking of the emo shonen. We're mixing archive. Sasuke's here, but I, I picked up what you were putting. The down. Uchiha. Okay. Cause they're yeah. all kind of like this. Yeah. Just um, as every team. one of them and i feel like that is like it's a good motivator but i don't think it's enough to write a whole manga about so i feel like it's going to be something more than that that i couldn't necessarily pin on right away but i feel like it is some something that maybe like i don't think you know what your true goal is even when you're like when you're 12 <laughs> like i don't like, yeah. I think very few people are like i want to do this thing as a 12 year old and then they stay with that and then they do it and then they're happy like a lot of people do grow Very and change people. and stuff. So, but yeah, that 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 just gave me a lot of uh, pause for thought because it's just like we don't know what Chihiro wants aside from like just outside mission. of his mission. Yeah, and it's just like wow, we've 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 been with them for what feels like a long time now. We've we've just got a lot of great character interaction with him, so it feels like we know everything about him. But this core part of his character just yeah. just fifty three chapters missing. into Dragon Ball, you had a pretty good idea of what Goku really <laughs> wanted personally. And I think that's what makes Chihiro interesting is because he's more. Yeah. And like I, I think even you know the manga con mentioned the same thing it was like I want to write a di- a story about a different type of protagonist because this isn't this isn't your typical shonen guy. So I don't think it'll be as boilerplate as I want x thing and then x thing is the end of my ambitions that's it maybe the reason he said i and trailed off there is because he doesn't know so that very well could be it i am still learning what i want to be i have 30 more chapters to figure that out (laughs) (laughs) i can i can personally relate to that growing Uh up with a dad you really respect and not knowing what you want to do at all and here I am in my 30s trying to figure it out still, making a whole comic about it even. So yeah, I could definitely see it happening. Yeah. And then we get yeah. really good That's imagery cool here. Like, awesome. Mm. Great use of the black and the white, as always. Mm. Yeah. The fact that like Chihiro is depicted as the one in black and, and I keep forgetting his name. I'm, I'm bad with this. Hirohiko? I, Hi- I feel like I've said it a couple of times. Hirohiko already. Araki. Okay. But I think I'm saying um, it wrong. Yeah, Hirohiko Araki. And uh, like he's always depicted with the white, with all the white sheets of paper, this this sense of purity to him, and the black obviously being the turmoil of Chihiro. Very, you know, I'm saying it out loud. It sounds incredibly simple, but it's not. It's all subtext, so it works. It's the yin and yang, but they put the yin in the yang spot and the yang in the yin spot. Exactly. So I just like the contrast. It works, and of course, it works perfect for a black and white manga too. The contrast. Is yeah, visually appealing every day, and the characterization here at the bottom is what I like. You know, we, we mentioned this earlier, but they like they blatantly say it with the father and the sword bearers fought to protect others. They were definitely heroes, but they avoided that label because they felt guilty for their sins. And then that's why they all say in the same thing: "You'll find your own different path. Don't choose hell like us." And then, sorry, but I'm going down the same path too. I'm afraid I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. As well. I gotta walk through hell. And then like he's being all this edgy emo stuff, but the fact that he was like, like kind of ignoring that aspect of him for the first, like for like 30 chapters in a row. Yeah. Cause we, we were saying like earlier, it's like, oh yeah, Chihiro's on a bloody revenge quest when he's taking out this eight year old girl for ice cream and stuff. Well, like, that. like, and he also has like, you know, sentences where he's like, I have to wake up every morning and like look in the mirror <laughs> to remind myself to kill my yeah. enemies. Or like, it's, it's like, like, like this yeah, really just messed up stuff, but like, he's stuff- also like, clearly not that guy and like it's just what he has yeah. to do i think the fact that it's brought up so seldomly and then he's just like this you know very very kind person every other moment it it just it, it's a good balance like he's allowed to be edgy every once in a while as a treat as a treat also yeah. real quick i just love every time we see chihiro's dad he's always wearing just a goofy Yes. I like that about him. Me and Chihiro's dad would yeah. get along. And then this two page this spread is page awesome. blew me away. I love this yeah. so much. Yeah. yeah. We're not capturing like, the whole thing because you're going to have to I read it. I think that's intentional. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> Fine. I don't, I don't need to know. A bunch of shit happens. But the one thing you can clearly see is the sword and, and a you, little bit. And you see uh, his Hiro, eye up Hiro here on the, on the right one. You can, you can see him showing up behind him. Yeah, with the, with the sand's eye. 
Yeah, with the sans eye. <laughs> and then now he's standing over him, and then everybody's like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, then what happened? <laughs> yeah, it's like, first time I killed a person, I accepted I'm a monster. But the least I can do is refrain from causing harm to others and take the Yuhishaku bastards to hell with me. So... Pretty it good. seems like he, 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 so he definitely didn't kill any of the hostages. He, it seems like he mostly just took the brunt of the attack himself in order to just plow his way through. Yeah, I and think get he was just like, I'm, I'm just going to eat your kill move real quick so I can make you think you've won and then get you. And I think all the black okay. shadow and stuff is meant to just show like how covered in blood he is. Like you can't distinguish between the shadow and his blood at this point. Yeah. Uh. It's yeah, cool, I though. Just, Whatever, man. Oh, this is just, I will just smile and nod. Cogger Bot, you, yeah. you got me a, a while ago. I'm, I'm, yes. Yes, please. Yep. I'm in, and it's cool. Thanks, Cogger Bachi. Keep serving those cheeses off the grill. Nailing it every time. But yeah, I, I love these two chapters. This was another, like, just, I, like, I hadn't read over the course of these two weeks, so it felt like we had taken, like, a little break. And so coming back in, I was like, oh, shit, that's right. This thing. Yeah, these two <laughs> chapters work very well together, so that's good. But yeah, so, I mean, if, really? if the, yeah, if the constant, you know, glowing discussion of it wasn't obvious, the fattest reedy of my life. <laughs> Kagurabachi rules. Still contributing to the meme, Kagurabachi, greatest anime to ever exist. If this is the future of manga, I believe we are in good hands. <sighs> Tyler, uh, what'd you say? Did you hate this one? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, worst ever. I figured. I just wanted to make sure that we had that for the record. You have to put it down on the official list. All right, well, with that, anything else anybody wants to say? We... we... I oh, guess as we're shit. wrapping up, we should decide what we're going to be doing. So, Kieran, you said you were really busy. You might want to take a, yes. a couple of weeks off from this. So I, I did mention that I think Undead Unluck will be ending soon. If we want to try to touch on that, we could try that. But I kind of want Kieran to be part of it because we're thinking of we might get some sort of guest or something. Do we want to try like starting up like just this a new smaller project manga just to like get through well? While Kieran's away, and then we can hop right back into the I think you guys should talk about One Piece. Fair. We could we do could that. We could have big One Piece breakdowns for, like, the next handful of weeks. You think we could, like, space. yeah, we could think of a couple of One Piece topics and, and, and just make some fun videos about those. I'd be down. I like right. that. Let's do that. So I guess if you're caught up with One Piece, look forward to the next two Read Your Knots. And if you're not, we'll, we'll see you again <laughs> a little bit later. Uh, yeah, then you better get through chapter 1,130. Yeah. Uh, yep. for next week <laughs> so uh, you've got a week to do it and you've no excuses all right I mean, yeah. how, how hard could it be i it? did it easy and that now about? they're remaking it i know it's going twice. on break for like two weeks is that is one piece oh on yeah break? one piece the manga is going on break for two weeks oh dang i didn't wow is it after next week i think so i don't know just in time i don't know look it up we'll figure it out Read the newest chapter of Hunter Hunter and time yourself to see how long it takes you get through it. I don't care if you're caught up minutes. or not. It's just I just want to know. Yep. Time yourself. Leave the time code in the comments. Okay. Bye. <laughs> see bye. ya. Good times. Zone.